Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Well, I know, I know, I have disappeared for a long time, I know. <laughs> and that's because I have been very busy with my university. So today we're going to have a very exciting tutorial about how to use the game maker to uh, compile a game for Android. And that's actually very easy. Uh, first step you want to do is you want to prepare your PC for Android, obviously. And to do that, actually, you will need to install several things before even doing anything. And these things are defined in the Game Maker. And how to know that? You can just uh, come to File in Game Maker, Preferences, and just uh, find Android and come to the SDK and you will see what Game Maker needs to compile for Android. Now the needs are SDK which is Software Development Kit and NDK which is Native Development Kit and JDK which is Java Development Kit. And uh, fortunately these things are for free you can download them from the uh, developers' websites, and I will just show you where the websites are. And by the way, I will just link the uh, website in the description below the video. And these are the websites. Easy to find. Here we have um, the SDK. Now, uh, when you open the uh, website, I will show you uh, this website, and you need to go down to the end, not to the end, to where it says SDK tools only, and you want to download whatever uh, um, file is uh, which uh, binds with your uh, PC if you have Windows or Mac or Linux. So I have Windows and I will download the zip one. You can download the executable, executable file. Actually there is absolutely no difference between them but whatever you want to do you can do. And after installing the SDK and it's very easy to install, after installing the SDK you will have files in uh, on your PC in uh, your user uh, folder and, and C user folder in app uh, I don't exactly remember the, the address yes you have them in, in app data in local in Android and in Android SDK this is the this is where you can find files after being installed obviously you can just cut them and put them wherever you want and just come to the game maker and tell game maker where the files are. And actually, initially, you will not find anything here because game maker don't even know these files exist. So, obviously, from the first place, after installing the SDK, you must come to the game maker and tell game maker where the files are. You understand? So, let's jump back to the Website. So after installing the SDK, you will, need, you will need to download and install the NDK. And this is the website for NDK. After opening the website, this is well, this is the appearance of the website, and you find um, the platforms are that exist here, and you can download the package you need. And I would uh, and here you must know if you have a 64 or 32 bit. Uh, operating system in case if you have Windows or OS or whatever any platform you will need to know the 64 and 32 bits so in my case I'm 64 I'll just download this and install it after installing the NDK or unzipping it uh, well actually you'll need to unzip it so uh, you will have it I don't exactly know where it goes but you, you can have it wherever you want you can just unzip Th that thing, you, it, it's, you don't even need to, to run the ex file, you just 
right click and unzip it wherever you want. You understand? And then you tell the game maker where did you put the files, obviously. Next, you will need to download the Java. And in uh, Oracle website where the developers develop this uh, kit, obviously, you can come to this page. And you can either download uh, the AQ71 or 72. These are just two different uh, versions of the uh, kit. And you need to accept the license agreements. Then you need to download for your platform, or which is your oper operating system. And in case you have Windows 64, you download Windows 64. In case you have uh, 32, you download 86. After installing the Java, you need to uh, tell Windows, uh, uh, you need to apply the Java to your environment Windows. How to do that? I have Windows 10. Actually, I don't know how to do this in, in Windows 7. I, I mean, I know, but I don't remember how to do this in Windows 7. I have to find the environment. But in Windows 10, you just need to search in the, in the uh, search bar. You just need to write environment. Environment, environment, and you will just have this system properties and here environment variables. And you need just to come here and add a new. You write here Java with capital letters Java underscore home, and down here you would just tell the path where you install Java, which would be in program files, Java, and Java JDK, something like this. And you press OK and OK here, and that's all what you need to tell Windows that you have Java. Actually, if you just install and restart, I think Windows will automatically do that for you. I'm not sure. But if, if it didn't happen, this is how you do it in Windows 10. And if you don't know how to do it in Windows 7 or below or whatever Windows you have, you can just search that on YouTube. And uh, well, this is the address, which is C program files Java JDK, after installing the Java, I mean. And you need to come to the game maker here in preferences and tell the game maker that you have these files installed in these paths. You understand me? Because Game Maker doesn't know that, you understand me? So you just come here and paste that the address, the path address here. And after doing that, you need to click on Check Android SDK, and it will tell you that it's OK. But you have here something called Key Stall. What is this? You need just come to Key Key Stall here and do a Key Stall, which absolutely nonsense. You just need to do whatever you want. And here you just check for NDK and it will tell you OK. If for any reason these two are not OK, you will never ever compile anything. So you need to do these steps very carefully and in a correct way. I have just explained to you how to do that, so you must know by now how to do that. Now, for any reason if after compiling where when you compile here everything is fine but when you when you want to install these things on your device you might have a problem trying to install that and the problem is when you come to global settings in global game settings and uh, try to find Android Android and here in package name it is absolutely important to have this uh, package name filled like this. C-O-M in the first uh, box. It's absolutely, it, it, you cannot do, you cannot write anything else. You must have C-O-M or COM at the first box. Okay? Next, you can write your company name or whatever whatever you want to write, here you can write. And here also you, you can write whatever you want, but the first box must be C-O-M, small letters. You understand me? This way 
you will never ever have any problem compiling a game for Android and well after finishing this you, you absolutely need the plugin to, to compile for, for Android and you can't find this in, in, in Target you just click and find Android I don't have the plugin right now but when you do you have this in Windows and I have it for Windows you will have it for Android and you click on uh, here yes create now it's it's executable but obviously you need to create a game for that but you will have it for Android and you will be able to run the APK on any Android device Ah, oh, by the way I forgot to tell you this and this is very important let me just find the file well, as I told you, you'll find it in users, your user, app data, local, Android, Android SDK, and this will be the SDK. Now, uh, pay attention, you need to have a very specific SDKs or APIs. I will just tell you what that is. Well, before that, you have a, a, a window like this, and you can just bigger so you'll see more things. I'll just can I close this? No I cannot. So you need to do it manually. Okay. Very good. Well first thing you need to do is you need to check these boxes to install the uh, files inside this uh, small packages. So, what packages you must have? These packages are must have. Uh, we have 7, 8, 13, and uh, 17, and whatever new uh, 15, sorry, and whatever. Uh, Android API that you have on your device or your target device or whatever it doesn't really matter so as you see I don't have 7 here so how do I find it well you just come here and click on absolute and oh god you need to collapse this packages again well you'll find it here you have the 7 API 7 you just check it here and you check this here and when actually I have these to install so let's install for example uh, 11 but it's not needed 11 just to demonstrate you will have a box like this you just need to accept license here and you must have all these checked marked in green then click install and it will install automatically you understand me but pay attention you will need this, these packages I will just mark them for you 7 8 15 and uh, sorry it's either 11 or 12 um, well I'm absolutely sure it's 13, 15, and 17. And whatever uh, uh, API you want, or whatever API is your target, you understand me? So, uh, what is your cell phone, or whatever? So, if you have, for example, I have uh, Galaxy S4, so I can install. API 19, you understand? Or, or if you have Galaxy S5, you can install, uh, I think you can install API 23 because it's already available on Galaxy S5. And X6 and Note and whatever, whatever Android device you have. You just install these packages and you are good to go. But beside the APIs, you need to install the tools. And you can just check them all or you can open that and install the Android SDK platform tools but you can install them all and it will not hurt your device installing them just in case you understand me so 
Then you just after install after uh, complete installing uh, this bar will just go. After completing the installation, you will just have your device set up to to compile for any 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 Android game. So I hope that you understood what I said. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope that you have learned something today, and I'm quite sure that you have learned something today. Uh, please like if you like the video. Please subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. And please leave uh, a comment telling me whatever you want me to do. And you guys have a great day.